let's go ahead and grab the next quest now that we're done leveling. Head on over to the, the Wayfarer Tavern over here, and I believe there are a couple quests in here for us now. Yeah, the Wayfarer wa Wavecrest, it's, it's not bad, but the, uh, the Miner's Tunnel Inn, that one was much better. <laughs> go. Did you get the quest? Ready as I'll ever be. Let's do this. This is a pretty neat quest. We lay and wait until the collaborators arrive. Your waiting bears fruit. That's kind of fishy. This must me. be the collaborator stepping in from the dark. Why do you work for the fish people? Fish people are going to win, and we're stupid for not siding with them. Shows what he knows. And they sure don't look like they're winning now. What defense gives the Sahagin pause, but you hear more of them gathering outside for a final assault. I'm not okay. scared of their final assault. You notice a small chest hidden behind the bar. Ooh. Hey, for small chest. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm thinking not the most successful of barmaids. Yeah. <laughs> In storm. Now, after that traitorous Jacoby Drexel hand, he must have fled into the cellar. Let's get him! How dare he? I call shenanigans. Me too. Shenanigans. Drexel hand isn't here. However, webbed footprints on the ground betray the location of a secret passage. Backtrack the chamber beyond the secret passage looks ancient, predating Korthos village. Ooh, That's chest. pretty funny. I'm in the middle of searching, in the middle of searching, and it uh, pops up showing the other door open. It's like, uh, oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, I clicked it. <laughs> <laughs> it's good that you're using the search tool, though. Did you just swing at that lever? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. You know, Paladin. We just kind of swing at stuff. I missed him a lot. My dog had to set him on fire. He belches fire, you know. with the fish people. How dare you. Totally. Oh, a chest. <laughs> Helm of listening. Ooh, cool. Helm of haggling. Nice. Very cool. 84 gold. Even better. No way left to run. Finish the job. Drexel thought that siding with the Sark Wagon would save his life. Another red guy? Now, red in this game just means that they're named. 
gonna be tougher, but not necessarily higher level. Killing him was actually an optional objective, giving us a little bit of a bonus experience for doing so. And another chest. Very nice. Scroll of Grease. Looks like I'll be able to help out the uh, the cooks at the tavern. It's always good to have. Okay, so we're all finished up in here. You always know when you're done, um, aside from the check marks and the status being completed, your recall button will change to the word finish. Back in the tavern to turn in. I recall the tavern when it was full of people. Well, Sigmund, it was uh, it was all that Jacoby guy. He's the one that took your chest. Yep. I'm a paladin. I wouldn't lie. <laughs> yeah, one of those paladins, huh? <laughs> Now this, this one over here, this quest, is actually a pretty funny one. It teaches you how to use the DDO store. Oh, really? So you uh, take the quest, then you use the option that says open the DDO store. It's going to take you straight to the vintage bottle of old Sully's Grog, which is... <laughs> it's actually five. It used to be free. Okay, so I added it to my cart. Place the order. Cha-ching! Okay, so now if I go into my inventory, it is right there. Vintage bottle of old Sully's Grog. That's pretty great. Now we can turn that in to somebody over at the harbor. At the dock, I should say. And they will give us a cake. One of the most powerful cakes you will ever see. For this cake brings you back from the dead. It is a mighty cake. This is a, uh, a cake that is a sample of what you can get when using the DDO store. So, uh, a Sibiris or Sibiris spirit cake. And this cake does just like I said. It's a resurrection cake. It actually brings you back from the dead or your target. <laughs> that is so awesome. You can be laying on the ground dying, take a bite of the cake, and be ready to go. I did not mean to uh, shoot you there, handsome Elm. Sorry about that. <laughs> Okey doke. Did you take the quest over here? Or are you still playing with the cake? Well, I was playing with my new sword. I'm not even going to say anything to that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave that just right there. Okay, another quest up here. Okay, now this is going to be an adventure area. So we're going to head through these gates. This is actually different than the, the instance adventures we are going in. This is actually a full, almost like a zone you would have in other games. It is instance to us, um, because most things are instance to us. I believe they're called, I guess they're called uh, wilderness areas, is what they call them. But uh, this is actually an open map, so there's a, there's a lot of stuff here you can do. Um, there are three or four different adventures we need to do here, and then there are the wilderness quests. The wilderness quests are Slayer, Explorer, and Rare Encounters. All wildernesses will have these quests. They have different checkpoints in these quests. For example, right now we have the ten uh, Slayer quests. When we kill ten things, it'll go up to a higher number and a higher number each, each milestone we hit we'll get experience for it. Um, explore is the same thing. We want to discover key areas in the zone. It definitely encourages you to explore the zone. And then rare encounters, every time you zone into one of these, certain rare encounters will spawn. They're always in the same spot, but it's not always guaranteed the actual guy you need to kill is going to be there. Okay, so we got another quest here. 
I say we go ahead and do this one. It involves jumping off the cliff here. Always good times. Steam billow. Hidden entrance to an underground tunnel. It's a trap! Okay, and it's just right here at the grate. 